Hey guys, this video is going to show you how to install the hit list with the cylinder on the bench. So whether you're doing a top end or you just want a second look at it, this video will give you another angle. So if you're doing a fresh top end, the bike's apart, uh, everything's cleaned up, power valves are working well, and you're getting ready to put the bike together. Uh, this is how you'll do it. So you'll use your cylinder, your valve shaft, the two long springs and washers from your bike. Uh, and the rest is going to come from the kit. So red is rider's right, always. So you got the two pulleys, uh, left and a right. Then you've got the center closing fork. Uh, the two torsion springs, three Allen cap screws. Notice that one of them is longer than the other two. The longer one goes in the center on the closing fork. Uh, so that's what you're going to need. So let's put it together. Here you'll notice the linkage for the secondary valves. Uh, we replaced those JIS screws with the shouldered Allen screws that come in the kit. It's just a way better deal. Uh, while you're at this point also, it's a good idea to put in a new valve shaft seal. First you're going to slide the valve shaft in part way. Grab the red, the right pulley. Slide it over the valve shaft. Push the shaft in about like so. Grab one of the long springs, put it right over the, the shaft. Next, you're going to take one of your washers and uh, slide the shaft through it. Next is going to go the red torsion spring. Push the valve through a little bit more, the shaft. Then goes the closing fork. Then the other torsion spring. Next goes the washer. Push the shaft through a little farther. Then the other long spring. The left pulley goes in last. I pull the, the spring back, put the pulley in place. And this you just gotta wiggle it and there. And the shaft's going to go into the cylinder, uh, line up your half moons, push it in, and turn it clockwise a little ways. Now you're going to engage the secondary linkage pins with the pulleys. Put in one of the shorter Allen screws, snug it up and back it off like an eighth of a turn. Same on the other side, you're going to engage that pin into the pulley, put in the screw, snug it up and back it off an eighth of a turn. So now with the screws in there and loose, you want to be able to uh, move the, rotate the shaft through its range of motion. Uh, so everything is moving smoothly. Then you want to get it in that stopped position, move, wiggle it a little bit. Make sure that both of the linkage, uh, linkages are out all the way. Uh, give it another little wiggle and then snug these. Then 
then try it again see if everything yeah it's moving nice and smooth so move it through the range of motion close the valves and then check those linkages push them to the outside and see if they move they should not move if they don't move and it's moving freely uh, you're all set sometimes it's too tight uh, in this portion and that's because the long springs have pushed the pulleys too far out so just back it off each one a little bit uh, run it a little bit get it uh, so everything's relaxed make sure the linkages are all the way out uh, and snug them uh, and keep doing that until you get it so that it operates smoothly and then when it's in the closed position you can push those linkages out and you don't feel any movement so that the valves are closed uh, then you can go ahead and tighten up these pulley screws there now the pulleys are all set now we're going to hook the torsion springs up to the center valve so pull it out hold it out uh, grab the torsion the long leg and pop it right around behind the pin on the valve there and get the other side and pull that so it snaps around behind Okay, that's how you, you want that spring-loaded action. Now rotate it a little ways so you can see what angle those Allen screws are on. Uh, get the center closing fork into position. Snug it up. Operate it a little bit. And then you can snug that one up. Now with everything hooked up and snugged, uh, grab some pliers and just, that should just be uh, super easy. Run, run it through its range of motion. Uh, yeah, and everything should be working very smooth at this point you'll feel a very light spring pressure in the center there now you can go ahead and tighten all three allen screws good don't have to be crazy tight but you want them you want them tight so there you have it. There's the everything hooked up tight, working smoothly, and you got your spring-loaded center valve. That's it. Now you can put your top end on.